Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah Suber. I'm a 19 year old college lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. Um, today is a very exciting video and it's out of the ordinary because today I will be unboxing the new camera that I bought for myself. Now, disclaimer before this video starts, um, I don't want you guys to think that like I bought this camera with like daddy's money or anything like that. Like I work three jobs including YouTube and I've been saving up for this camera for months and I've been wanting this camera for like years. So I thought that since this camera just came in and I know a lot of you guys who follow me um, or if you searched up this video maybe you're interested in getting this camera whether it's for YouTube videos or just photography or anything like that. It's a really amazing camera and I'm so excited that I finally purchased it and it's finally here i've been waiting like a week for it to get here um and i got the camera and all the accessories i'm going to show you guys today off of amazon and i will have all the accessories linked down below in my amazon storefront page and just to let you guys know that if you do purchase anything through my amazon storefront i do get a little commission off that so if you use it thank you so much but if you don't that's totally fine too and also a pro tip if you have a discover credit card if you buy anything off amazon.com walmart.com and target.com in this quarter of the year so october to december you get five percent cash back which was great when I purchased this camera because I got a lot of cash back because this camera is expensive so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing and yeah I think I said everything I wanted to say so yeah let's get into the unboxing all right guys so unboxing this on my bed which I don't know if that's like the best idea because like you know corona but I'll wash these sheets so don't worry about it I just wanted to show you guys first before we get into the actual camera the accessories that I have for it so the first accessory is actually like a screen protector because you know like for the viewfinder of the camera but it hasn't come in the mail yet so I'll just pop a picture of it in like right over here so you guys can see that and also everything as I've mentioned before will be linked down below my Amazon storefront because that's where I got everything from so all the youtubers that I watch that have this camera they actually get the little cute silicone protectors for it so I just got this pink one because you know as you guys know if you if you follow me you know I love a good pink moment so it looks so good with the white camera I don't know if I mentioned that before but I did get the white version of the this camera the Canon EOS M50 so let's take this out of the box get rid of that dingy Amazon box because nobody wants to see that so let's go ahead and open her up it's just the Canon EOS M50 and I also got the white version as you can see because i don't know i think it's just so cute i love a good white aesthetic you know me you guys know you guys know how it is here on the channel as you can see my nails and a lot of things i own is either pink or white um so there's that so we're just gonna open her up oh my gosh i'm so excited so the first thing you see is you know the usual canon registration information um and then there's also the user manual and then inside this first flap is i think the what is this during my research on which camera to buy I actually watched a lot of like the videos of setting the camera up and stuff like that So I'm pretty good on these, but I will always keep these in the side just in case you know, you never know um, All right, so let's open up the camera Okay, so when you open it up everything's like prepackaged as such um, The first thing I see is this little neck. I think strap thing. It says Canon on it This will be perfect for when I like go on trips and stuff like that whenever my camera to vlog I can just hang it around my neck all right, now let's get into the bulk of it. The first thing I see is, I think, oh, this is the battery. Okay, so let me open her up. But yeah, here's a little battery pack. We're gonna open this. I think this is gonna be the camera, the lens, and then, okay, this is probably the extra part of the battery as I was just talking about. So let's open this up. Throw the trash aside. Okay, so yeah, this is a little battery charger. Let's take out the camera, and then we'll take out the lens. All right, and then here's just what the box looks like without all the stuff in it. I always keep the original packaging, like for my technology stuff especially, just in case I ever want to resell it in the future or something like that, or like give it to someone. I can always just have the original packaging. All right, guys, so we're going to unbox the camera first, obviously. Um, so here she is. Boop. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Y'all, I'm so excited. It looks so good. I'm so glad I got the white one. I had to wait like two months literally to get the white one because the white one sells out so insanely fast. So I'm super happy about that. I love the gray and white together. It's just like so cute. I really love that. I'm really glad I waited the extra a couple months to get the white one. Here are all the controls. This is the record button. This one is, I'm not really sure what this is. Manual function. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I'm not like a super camera person. Here's the on and off switch. Here's like the little knob thingy. Um, it's the viewfinder. Again, love the gray and white. Here's a little viewfinder. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh. And then when I flip it around, 
Oh, my fingerprints already got all over it, lol. But this is so pretty. It's gonna be weird for me to get used to filming with like a viewfinder on the side and not on top. It took me forever to not look above the camera, so now it's gonna be weird to like transition to looking at the side, if that makes any sense. Actually, I forgot. Before we put the battery on, let's just go ahead and put on the little silicone case for it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look adorable with this on. I love it. That's freaking adorable. And it makes it a little more like easier to grip too, which I really like. It makes me feel more safe holding it and stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna take the battery out. I was just charging for a little bit. It's not all the way charged up, of course, because I just plugged it up for like 10 minutes, but I'm excited to see how a different battery, how long this one will last. I might get a second battery too. Um, just because I hate when I'm in the mood of film and my batteries are always dead. Okay, so there it is popped in. Guys, so I didn't have the camera on when I turned it on for the first time, but basically I just set up the date and time zone. So I just have it set to what time and date it is. Um, I'm just going through the other settings. I'm not gonna do any of like the shooting settings now, um, just because I don't really need that. Okay, I'm dumb. I forgot that obviously I need to put the lens on. So we're gonna do that first. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off. And we're gonna take off the like protection thing that looks so fancy and we're gonna put the lens on um this is just the standard lens that comes with it um it's just the canon oops you can't see it let me put this in focus it's just the canon 15-45 millimeter lens and yeah so i'm just gonna take this off oops all right just pops off like that i'm just gonna throw that to the side um, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put this on first. So you just gotta match it up. So you have to pull this little tab back right here and just match it up to the square and then twist it on so it's set. And then there is the lens. She is very cute, very cute, fun and fresh. She's ready to shoot some footage. So let me do the first ever camera test. Oh my goodness. Guys, this quality is insane. Like, this is my genuine reaction. I'm not trying to like over exaggerate, but this is such an upgrade from our last camera. I wanna see what it looks like because, okay, so if you guys don't know, I film in my basement and, cause that's where my room is. I don't have any windows. There's no natural lighting in my room. So when I film, I have to have not only my two studio lights on, but like these overhead lights in my room. And it's just like a really poor lighting, which is where my other camera like kind of falters because the lighting is just not very good. And that camera's not very good at like low lighting settings. So let's see how this one. Oh my gosh, guys, this is freaking bomb. Like I still look really clear. It's following me with the autofocus really well. My other camera has autofocus, but it's not as good as like this. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking awesome, guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm gonna shut up now because y'all don't care. It's just me hyping it up and <laughs> let's see how much the zoom is. Oh my gosh, you can see my pores. All right guys, so before I end this video, I do wanna just recommend to you guys, if this camera is too expensive for you because literally y'all, like I paid I think about $690. So pretty much about $700 for this camera, which is for me personally a great investment because YouTube for me, I do make money off of YouTube and I also take a lot of pictures and stuff like that for Instagram, my other social medias for like branding and stuff like that. So for me, upgrading to this camera was kind of a necessity honestly but if you can't afford to upgrade because this is like a dslr camera it was literally like 700 dollars um which is totally understandable a little bit about me i've been doing youtube for i think this august was my seven year anniversary on youtube my first video was in like 2013 and i filmed that on my ipod touch 4 and i have had my fair share of filming on phones ipods um and kind of working my way up camera wise to get to where I am today on YouTube. Um, so the camera that I recommend for you guys, if you can't afford this one, is to get the Canon SX740HS. This is kind of like a dupe for the Canon G7X that every YouTuber freaking uses. I swear they all use that one or they use the EOS MP2 that I just have today. Um, my cat's gonna be in the background of this video. There she is. This is an awesome beginner camera if you're just starting out with YouTube or even if you have like a little bit of an audience and you want to just kind of not film on your phone because I filmed so many videos on my phone and it would be so annoying when I try to edit because I would have no storage left or I couldn't edit on iMovie on my phone because 
either like I didn't have any storage and then I'll try to delete the videos off my phone while editing them and then it would just ruin the whole video and it's just a whole process so if you want to break away from using your phone or whatever kind of device you use to film highly recommend this camera this one was about $250 um, and I got it like a, like a year and a half ago, so you could probably find it for way cheaper now I'll leave a link to it down below if I can find it anywhere I just love this one because especially if you are like blessed to be filming in areas with a lot of natural light um, Or if you film outside a lot this camera is amazing the lens um, when you zoom stretches super far So if you do like a lot of nature videos, I don't know what y'all do but like, you know this camera is an awesome option for that and it's great for vlogging the flip out train flips on the top and you can see yourself when you vlog the sound quality is great um i really just do love this camera but, but yeah i will leave this camera link down below it's a perfect beginner camera for youtubers it won't break the bank and it gives you really good quality all right guys so i just wanted to conclude the video here because y'all have seen enough of me y'all are tired of me I understand but um, I just wanted to before we go just say thank you so so much for the support on my channel recently We have grown so much in the last six months. It's literally insane as I said earlier I've been doing YouTube for six years and just being able to buy myself the camera that I've literally been dreaming of like this is my dream camera and it's all thanks to you guys that I was able to afford it and you guys have motivated me to do more with YouTube work harder make better vlogs and this camera is not only an investment for me but an investment for you guys because now you guys will be getting a lot better quality videos and I'm just so excited and so thankful and so grateful so if you guys wouldn't mind doing me a favor if you're not already subscribed please subscribe down below go watch some of my other videos I feel like you guys will have a great time here if you click on this video Video, obviously a higher being told you to do so it was destiny for you to click on my video and watch me so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are in the market for a new camera comment down below which camera I'm looking at or if you haven't looked at this one if you have any questions for me I'll try my best to answer them in the comments and yeah don't be afraid to comment on my videos I love to have conversations with you guys your comments literally make my day like I'm not even trying to sound cheesy and like oh my gosh but like they really do like I love when people comment on my videos it just feels like we're like friends talking you know it's a great time but yeah I already thanked you guys yeah okay um so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys have a great fantastic day morning night whenever you're watching this you guys are so amazing and i'm so thankful for all of you and yeah i hope to see you guys next time on my channel peace out because i got homework to do chat I, i've been procrastinating and i gotta go